It doesn't look like Syracuse gets much this time around, which gives the city DPW more of a chance to get new drivers trained and fill nearly a dozen open spots. Sounds like they need that time. As News Channel 9's Adrian Smith explains, a staffing shortage has neighbors worried about what this winter could bring. And if it's not a main road, it's a mess. Mandy Barron has lived on Tennyson Avenue in the Tip Hill neighborhood for the last two years, and her winters in Syracuse haven't always been a breeze. There's been days where I feel like I'm stuck, um, where I can't get out, um, because most of the time the regular streets are plowed, but when it comes to the smaller streets, no. As a Lyft driver, Barron depends on Syracuse DPW plows to clear the snow on her street in order to do her job, but she's concerned the department's driver shortage could slow her down. Like, this is one of the snowiest areas in the entire region. So, <laughs> knowing that, yeah, that makes me a little bit concerned about um, how the roads are going to be taken care of and how everyone's going to drive um, and the amount of accidents that are going to happen. Team Tran, who also lives on Tennyson Avenue, says he's worried their street won't be prioritized this winter. Especially with, with it being a one way street, a lot of times. Like last year and all that, when we don't get plows through, you can't really do anything. And it's so narrow that sometimes people park, so I feel like if there's a shortage with that, then that would be even worse. The Syracuse DPW commissioner says they're down about 8 to 10 drivers and still need to hire five more mechanics. I couldn't keep people from trying to come here and work. Now it's like I'm begging people to come here and work, and drivers are a premium. And it's not just at uh, Syracuse DPW. It's everywhere in the nation, so drivers is, uh, is tough. Despite not having a full fleet of drivers, Robinson is reassuring neighbors the city's plows, equipment, and technology are ready to brave the storms. In Syracuse, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. And the state DOT is also experiencing staffing challenges. They're looking to hire about 40 more drivers this winter.